self-belief will be your only challenge. It would have to be. Otherwise, you would not be watching this video because you wouldn't have been attracted to it because that means that there's something within you that has not been actualized yet that you're still looking for. And I can say this because I moved through my entire life not believing who I was, not understanding what my authentic self was and not being able to go there because it was really scary. Because what happens is you have to move into this unknown of who you are. And that can be frightening. You don't know what you're going to find there. And that's frightening because of how you've been programmed. And what has happened is you've been programmed to believe something that is limited or restricted. We all are. That's how we're born. But when we all come into the world, we understand as a human, we have all the abilities to achieve anything. We could do that, but it's that only thing that stands in our way is that lack of belief in who we are. Because who we are is something that's really different and unique. That's how every human is born. And you can go through your entire life not understanding that and not living the life that you are meant to have. Now, sure, there's a lot of people who will come in and find themselves right away and go on and lead these really incredible lives and they're not many of them because the people that you will see who feel that you think they have it all together they're probably still struggling with that next thing that they could possibly do that would make the greatest difference in their lives and also in our world and i will tell you i've had a long life i'm 73 years old i've been through more things than anyone can possibly imagine and certain things i could not believe about myself and i just saw it just now because I was looking at some of my messages, my old messages that I've received for the last several years and questioning, why didn't I understand that? And why didn't I know it? That's for all of us. We always have that. We have our brains, our consciousness to direct our lives and they will do that in different ways for each of us. I had no clue that my life was going to bring me to where I am now. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about it because I'm making changes and starting to believe in who I am a little bit more so that I can help more people do exactly the same thing. The things I've accomplished in my life don't seem believable because they don't make sense because in history, there have not been many people who have done it. And it all came through the work that I've received over 35 years. When you understand your brain, your consciousness, or neuroscience, as we've come to understand now, that's how we change anything, is changing our thinking. And those, that thinking is from an old way of being that has probably been programmed into you that you have to break through in some way. And that's what I had to do as well. And I was with a friend today, and I said, you know, I've never talked about how much the work that I have received has healed me. Because, see, I've healed so many things that people didn't believe were, were possible, from headaches to backaches to, to AIDS to, think, to allergies to all of that, to be at this place now where I'm like the healthiest I've ever been. That is what is possible when you make a mind-body connection. And there have been several people who have experienced that, who understand it, and I'm one of them. But I wasn't talking about it. Someone asked me probably about a year ago, they said, we want to know more about the healing. Well, I'm going to start doing a lot more of that because that's what's going to go into my work. That's what's going to go into my program that I put, created from this philosophy that I received. And that philosophy says every single person born onto the earth has worth and value within them. And all they have to do is uncover the restrictions and the limitations that have been programmed in, in their evolutionary journey, either from their this life that they're living or something from before whatever it might be but it's always restricted the same thing happens in our world which is why the world is a little complicated at this moment and that is information that i understood because i've been receiving cosmic guidance for years but telling others about that and really owning it was was difficult yes when i do a wilhelm channeling session i can answer any question and you've probably seen that I can answer any question that someone places in front of me because I'm accessing information from a different realm. And I've been doing it for so long that that's what caused this work to develop. It's what's caused me to be able to heal my life. And it's what's done the same thing for so many people who have already done this work, some of this work. I'm saying that because we will stop ourselves also at times because we can't believe what we're doing or who we are. I did that. 
because I started this work in 2021 and I started seeing these incredible results that people were receiving, but I hadn't done all of the work and then I stopped. And then I didn't let all of the others who were in my work continue because it doesn't happen overnight. No matter where you are, you've been programmed and it could be very old, it could be generational, whatever it might be. So you cannot expect yourself to start to believe in yourself instantly. It is a process that we come to understand. And it is the same thing in our world. So at this time in our world, you're going to have to come and understand who you are because people might try to tell you you're something else or try to get you to believe what they believe. You're supposed to believe you. We each have a very unique path that we're meant to own and live and bring to the world because you start to understand science. And then science says that our energies from what we put into ourselves, the kind of energies, like if there's a lower vibration, if we're judging ourselves, if we're really feeling depressed and all of that, then those lower vibrational energies, and you probably get sick a lot. And I did that earlier in my life. I understood that. So then I had to say, oh, wait a minute. If I start raising my vibration and moving through those things, and I did it every single day, it would produce a result. And it did. It healed everything. But the other part of it is still me believing it and owning it and giving to everyone else. But I must change that now because I know that our world is moving and I could help many more people. And some people will never do the work that I'm doing because it causes you to look at yourself in a very deep way. And sometimes that's frightening. That's like Carl Jung said, people don't want to do shadow work. They don't want to look. And I've done it my entire life. But the result was I came out in this person who sees things in a new way. You can call it moving to a different dimension or whatever, however you want to think it, but that's how, that's what happens. It's challenging to explain that, but I posted some things on my site, any advice, uh, any advice for today.com this week. Um, and you'll see them where I post several messages over years. See, we, we evolve in ourselves, your individual life, you evolve over time. That's just what happens. But then the world does that too. And then there becomes this collective consciousness that we all operate from. And it's limited because if we don't think something is possible, then we won't try it. We won't do it. I can sit and tell people all the time that this work will change your life. It'll take you to this new place. And then you'll sit and listen to hear other people saying that that's what happened for them. But then you won't believe it because we all have this cognitive dissonance meaning something can be presented to us and saying, here, this can happen. But because we haven't experienced it yet, we're reluctant to believe it or to even try it. And that's that lack of self-belief. To move out of this comfort zone that we all live in, that's our ego, actually, that keeps us feeling small and not willing to move and own who we are. And it could go on your entire life. And I do understand that because I couldn't tell people what I was doing. When I started receiving Wilhelm in 1989, I tried to keep it hidden. I didn't tell people for more than 20 years or so, even though I was receiving all of these results. But I didn't understand that I was a prophet also. I couldn't say those words because, see, I'd received information that was meant to be used in our world now as we're moving through this big change. None of it was surprised to me, was a surprise to me because I'd been receiving guidance. I knew it was going to be challenging for a lot of people as we're moving through this time. And I knew it was going to be especially difficult in the United States where we feel all of this kind of hostility and division. That's because each of us are being asked to look at what we are holding on to that doesn't serve civilization anymore. But more importantly, that doesn't serve us. It's about the individual. When you're holding back, from becoming who you're meant to be, you will cause all sorts of problems. You will cause lack of, of, of abundance in your life and prosperity because that's energy again, all of its energy. And I know I've, I've done it because see, I, when I was doing my other work, my other careers, I was just soaring. I made so much money back then when I was doing that, but then come into what was more authentic, which was to do this work, that was really challenging. And I kept cutting myself off because I couldn't own that I was doing this. I couldn't own that I had created this, that it had come through me. And I go back and I look at it and I, wow. And I listened to a video from last year of a Wilhelm channeling session where the same thing was said. So it's our lack of self-belief. That's the only thing that will ever hold you back. See, because I knew 
that what I was given is something that if more people did it, it would completely change the world. But to say those words say, felt so outlandish, basically. But if you look at it logically, I could see, oh, wait, wait a minute. If more people were loving themselves, if more people knew who they were, why would you fight someone else? Why would you be angry? Why would you be frustrated? You would just be going about creating what God gave you to bring to this world to create. And I know that every single person has that. And my particular role, obviously, was to help more people understand it and come to a greater sense of who they were so that we could raise the collective consciousness of our world. And I know that's true, which is why I'm going to give a talk, a global talk in October to the world, because that's the message I'm going to give. But I have held back, and so that's what I'm changing. I've also decided that I will do private Wilhelm channeling sessions, even though I resisted those for years, but I'm going to do that. So you'll see that offer. And then I'm doing a channeling session on the um, this new moon. I'm changing that though, because now there's a, there's a cost to come to it because it's going to be longer and I'm going to be able to answer the questions that come through. That's what I want to do. Because I want to give people as much understanding of who they are, especially during this time of great change in our world, because it's going to go on for a while. But if we uplift the energy within us, we do that for the world. And it's only a matter of us understanding that every single soul is important, is significant, and is born with something to offer. We don't understand that as a global society at this moment. But if we do it and understand it within ourselves now, then we make a huge difference. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be, you'll see, a, a re shaping basically a rebranding of all of my work because that's what I'm going to do and I talked about this before but you know my program will change your life I, I have no question about that you may not do it but I just know that's what will happen to anyone who does it especially when I can see what people have done with only the small amount of work I put in now when I put in more it took me 35 years I sat down every single day and my brain was changed because I understood science. I understood neuroscience later. I didn't know I was doing that, but that was the result of what came through it. So that's why I said that, you know, at this point, I'm only taking 10 people right now because what I'm doing is I'm meeting with those people. And so if I meet with you in the beginning, after you come into the program, then I can get a really great sense of who you are where you're stuck, where you should be going and give you a head start. And so you're going to do much better in this work. Then when you are created, you are done with this, you're going to give me the very best testimonial ever because you're going to not believe it'll be even better than the ones that are there. And then I will be able to sell this work for, sell it. That's what I'm going to say, sell it for so much more because then I can get to kick back a bit because I put so much of my life into it. And that's what I deserve just like you deserve. Your worth and value cre accumulates as you live, especially if you've done something that you could give to others, give to the world that would make a difference. And I've done all of that. I just held back from doing it because I had to get to that self-belief just like you do. The only reason you would ever feel insecure or not confident is because of that very issue. You just have not accepted and understood your authentic self. Because that's why you were born, every single one of us. And it's going to be different, but yours is something that would cause you to love yourself. That is the only reason for your life. You can check out all of my work and come to the next channeling session as well. See you soon.